Hey guys, welcome to today's video. So today I have a beauty empties for you. I know you love these types of videos and I have accumulated quite a bit since the last one that I uploaded in May. Now I do finish products up at different times, which is why I have more in this video, but recently I did a major clean up in my bathroom and I was going through all of my stuff, getting rid of old makeup and skincare, things that I don't use anymore. And then I noticed that I had a lot of skincare products that were almost gone. There was a little bit left and I don't know why I didn't finish these up months ago, but I did end up finishing them, which is another reason why I have so much today. So let's get right into it, but don't forget to subscribe and ring that notification bell. And also don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up as well. All right, so the first empty that I have here is by Necessaire, and this is the Body Serum. I have talked about this many times on my channel. This is something that I do like to use a lot. I tend to gravitate towards this more during the colder months, fall and winter, because this is a fabulous product to add more hydration to the skin. So if you're someone that always has dry skin on your legs, your arms, your chest, it's flaky. This will be amazing to incorporate with your body moisturizer. So apply this after you get out of the shower onto damp skin and then when your skin is still damp, then go in and apply your body moisturizer on top to lock in the hydration from this. This has hyaluronic acid in it and I really do feel like it really helps to hydrate the skin and gives your skin that more comfortable feel. So this is great for all year round, but again, I. Do I do like to use this more during the colder temperatures when my skin is drier, but in the summer, this might be great to use after you've had a beach day, maybe you've been in a pool all day and your skin is feeling a little bit tight and dry, this will be fabulous to incorporate. So I do have another one in my linen closet. I haven't opened it up yet, but I do plan on using it the next time that my body feels dry, but this is truly amazing and it's also fragrance free. I finally finished the Aven Retrin All 0.1 Intensive Cream. So I've been using this on my neck and occasionally on my chest, and this is a retinol to hide. So this is one step closer to retinoic acid, which is tretinoin, but this is also stronger than an over-the-counter retinol. And I really like this for the neck area to treat premature aging and to also firm up the skin. And I've seen great results with this one so far, and I can't recommend it enough and unfortunately this isn't an easy product to get here in Canada so I do purchase it online in the American dollar there is duties and taxes unfortunately if you're interested I will leave that link below for you but I can't find this at shoppers or Rexall I don't believe this is a product that is sold here in Canada at least in Ontario I haven't seen it but if you can get your hands on this this is amazing. I have an empty Paula's Choice Azalic Acid. This is a go-to when I have blemishes, when I have a cystic acne. I spot treat with this and within a day or two my blemish is completely gone. But if you have blackheads, you have texture, you have redness, this is truly a great product to use for those skin concerns as well. And I couldn't imagine not having this in my collection because this really is effective. So I do have a backup just in case I need it. I have two cleansers that I finally finished up. So I have the Herbivore Pink Cloud Creamy Jelly Cleanser. This took a long time to finish. I don't know what it is with this cleanser. It was nice, it did lather and foam up nicely, but it just wasn't my favorite. So I took a break from this, and then this of course was one of the cleansers that I found underneath my vanity with just a little bit left. There still is the tiniest amount left, but I can't be bothered to finish it because I just thought that this cleanser was just okay. I liked it, but I don't like it enough to purchase it again. The next one is by SkinCeuticals, and this is the Soothing Foam Cleanser. Now, I do like this one. This is great for those that have sensitive skin. Maybe you get a lot of procedures done in office, like laser and whatnot. This is a fabulous cleanser to use as it's really gentle, it's really soothing, and it's not drying or stripping. This is really lovely. So this is something that I would consider again in the future, but for right now, I'm not going to pick it up. So as always, you guys, I have a lot of ordinary empties here, a lot. So let's dive right in because I do have, let's see here, well, I have four. I thought I had more than that. I have, well, no, I have five serums here. So I have the Amino Acids Plus B5. I have two of those. 
You guys know how much I love this. I use this every day, twice a day. It's a hydrator and it's one of the best products from The Ordinary, hands down. I also have an empty EUK 134 0.1%. This is an antioxidant serum, but great for those that have redness. This is effective as long as you're consistent with it, and I have not been consistent with this, so I'm not going to be purchasing this again for right now, maybe in the future, but for right now, this isn't something that I'm gravitating towards, so it is a great one if you have redness, so a great product to consider if you deal with that skin concern. I also have an empty mandelic acid 10% plus hyaluronic acid. This is an exfoliator. This is really lovely. It's gentle and I do like to use this once a week. If I'm not using this, then I'm using the Ordinary Lactic Acid 10%. So this is a really nice product. It really is. And I feel like there isn't a lot of people that talk about that product either. So that's a good one, you need to try it. And the Ordinary Alpha Arbutin 2% plus hyaluronic acid. This is great if you have discoloration. This is another product that I haven't been too consistent with. So for right now, I'm not going to purchase this, but in the future I will, and I will be picking up another mandelic acid. So those are my Ordinary Empties. I have an empty Neod Copper Amino White Slate Serum. This is my favorite product from Neod. I use this on the nights that I am not using my prescription tretinoin, and sometimes I will use this in my morning skincare routine if I want to take a break from vitamin C. And this is really effective. This can help to stimulate new collagen, great for fine lines and wrinkles, and to firm up the skin. So of course, I will be purchasing this again, and I already have a backup in my linen closet. So the lighting is fluctuating a lot in this video and I do apologize. All of a sudden it got really dark and cloudy. It looks like it's going to rain at any moment and you know you just can't plan around weather. You just can't. So let's move on to the next empty. And this is the CeraVe Facial Moisturizing Lotion, the PM formula. I still do like this. I still use it occasionally. Sean actually uses this more than I do right now. At one point, this was my go-to for every day, twice a day. And I do think that it's still lovely. I still recommend it, but I'm taking a little break from the CeraVe PM. Shocking, I know, because at one point, like I said, I was really obsessed with this. But I'm taking a little break. I have some other moisturizers that I'm gravitating towards a little bit more at the moment, but I will be going back to this for sure because this really is one of my favorites from the drugstore. And I think that if you have normal to oily skin, this is lovely. This is also great if you have dry skin and this has niacinamide, so perfect if you're breakout prone, you have some discoloration. And not to mention, niacinamide is an antioxidant, so of course it's great for fine lines and wrinkles as well. So since we're talking about moisturizers, I do have an empty Embryolisse cream. This is what it looks like when you're completely done. The packaging allows you to get every last bit of product out. It's like that tinny type of material. And so I have basically rolled it up as much as I could to get every last bit of product. So you're truly getting your money's worth with this one because there is no wasted cream here. And this is what I use in my morning routine. So this is fabulous underneath makeup, great underneath sunscreen, it's really moisturizing, and this is truly one of my favorites, and this is what I've been using every single morning for the last several months. So this is a must have, and I do have another one already going, and I will be purchasing more and more. I finally finished the Beauty of Josen Repair Serum. So this has ginseng and snail mucin. So this is a lovely serum for hydration to moisturize the skin, and I really did like this but I didn't gravitate towards this as much as I should have. And this was also another product that I found underneath my vanity that was almost empty. So of course I finished it up, but I'm not going to purchase this again. I don't feel like I have a need for this in my routine. I much rather use the Ordinary Amino Acids Plus B5. Of course, they're two totally different products with different ingredients, but this one is hydrating and repairing. So this one fits in better with all of my other skincare care products, but for right now, this is a pass. I finally finished the Tower 28 Daily Rescue Facial Spray. I bought this a long time ago. 
maybe a year ago, maybe a year and a half ago. I can't remember. And of course, this was another product that I found while I was cleaning. And this is targeted for those that have irritation, redness, and this can also help to balance out your pH. Now, I really didn't love this, which is why I didn't finish it as quickly as I should have. I don't believe that this works. I really didn't feel like this worked. It really didn't. You know, my opinion, my experience, but I feel like you can do better. I feel like there is better out there. I really love the Neod Superoxide Dismutase Saccharide Mist. That one is great for redness. That one is great for hydration. That one has antioxidants in it, and it has a lot of great ingredients, even for anti-aging. And I feel like that product is way more effective than this. So I'm going to stick with Neod and I'm going to pass on this. I will not be purchasing this again. I have an empty L to MD UV Elements Broad Spectrum SPF 44. So this is a tinted mineral sunscreen. This has a zinc oxide of 10% and a titanium dioxide of 5.5%. Now this is a lovely sunscreen, but I didn't gravitate towards this as much because this tint is pretty dark, especially for my skin tone. Now, the only time that I could wear this is if I was self tanning. So right now I have been self tanning, so I could use this if I still had some left. But other than that, I can't use it because it's just way too dark. It doesn't blend in to my neck and I don't like to apply tinted sunscreens to my neck because of course it transfers onto my clothing. I can't stand that. I don't want to worry about that. So I didn't use it as much, but it's finally finished. And so for right now, I am not going to repurchase, but this is water resistant up to 40 minutes and there is hyaluronic acid in here. It's also quite moisturizing and it did sit nicely underneath makeup as well. So again, I am passing. I have a few more sunscreens actually, and I have one that is expired, so I can't use it anymore. But this one from Color Science, the Sun Forgettable Total Protection Face Shield, SPF 50 with a PA++. This is one of my favorite mineral sunscreens. This has a zinc oxide of 12% and it's very lightweight, it's moisturizing, and it sits well underneath my makeup. So I really love this. This is something that I will purchase again. For right now, I'm going to pass because I'm obsessed with these Summer Fridays and I do have some other sunscreens that I need to use up first, but this would be one that I will purchase again for sure. And the next sunscreen that is expired. This is a product that I didn't use as much because it's a chemical sunscreen and I much prefer to use a mineral or a hybrid which has mineral and chemical ingredients. So this is by Paula's Choice and this is the Youth Extending Daily Hydrating Fluid Broad Spectrum SPF 50 with antioxidants and soothing plant extracts. This wasn't a favorite. I really don't like this one from Paula's Choice. I much prefer to use the Wrinkle Defense, the mineral one that they have that I've talked about a lot on my channel. That one is amazing. This one, in my opinion, not so much. So this has avobenzone, octinoxate, octisalate, and octocrylin. Those are the four chemical filters. So again, if you like chemical sunscreens, this might be one to try, but for me, this isn't it. I really didn't like it. I also have an empty Color Science Total Eye 3-in-1 Renewal Care. So this is an under eye SPF, but it also color corrects at the same time. So if you're someone that has dark circles, a lot of discoloration underneath the eyes, and you want something to color correct, something to brighten up the under eyes, perhaps before you apply your concealer or your makeup on top, this would be a great option to resort to. Now this one here isn't necessary to have. You can just use your face SPFs and bring it up underneath the eyes, underneath the brow bone, and of course on the eyelids. And that's what I've been doing lately since I ran out of this. And this isn't necessary, like I said, but this is a great option for those that are looking for that color correction. This does come in four shades. So if you find one that is closest to your skin tone, you can probably use this on its own without applying an under eye concealer on top. I always applied a concealer on top of this just to add a little bit more coverage 
sometimes this shade wouldn't necessarily blend in with my skin and with my foundation so I felt like I had to put a concealer on top which is fine you totally can and I did all the time but you know for right now I'm going to pass this would be something that I would consider again in the future but I'm not going to purchase at the moment I have an empty Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. Now this is a product that I really liked. I used to use this all the time. Again, I forgot all about it in my cabinet, but I saw it, I started using it, and I can see why I loved this so much in the past. So this really gives that nice dewy, glowy complexion. So again, if you're using a matte foundation, you have a skin-like foundation, and it's not enough glow for you, you want something different for that day, spray this all over your face and your neck, and you will get that beautiful, dewy, glowy complexion. And I was using this quite a bit. I really, really like this. This is really nice. So yeah, I'm going to purchase it again. I also have an empty way leave-in conditioner. So this is for your hair and I was using this a lot and I still did up until I finished this. So I finished this maybe a week or two ago and right now I'm loving the Olaplex line for my leave-ins. So I love the number six, the hair oil, which is the number seven, and I love the number nine. So I'm using that trio at the moment and I love it and I'm obsessed, but I was using this a lot before I got using those three Olaplex products. And I do like to switch up my leave-in products as well on a weekly basis. So some weeks I will use Olaplex, maybe the next hair wash, I'll take a break, I'll use something like this to spray in my hair after I get out of the shower. It helps to detangle, it helps to protect your hair from heat styling tools, and I really love the scent of this. Your hair smells incredible for at least two days. I really love it. So if you haven't tried this, I highly recommend. This is something that I will purchase again. And I have two more products here, and these are not empty, so I'm gonna be honest with you, I didn't finish them because I don't like them, and I don't know why I keep things that I don't like. I don't know why I hoard the products that I don't like. I push them back in the cupboard. It takes up room. I don't know if it's this thing where I feel like, oh, maybe one day I will use it again because nine times out of 10, I don't. So I don't know why I do this to myself. I really don't. But you know, I'm gonna be changing that. Anything that I don't like, I might as well just give it away or get rid of it. Why keep it, you know? So these two are by Color Wow, and this is the Color Security Conditioner as well as Shampoo. This is for normal to fine hair as well as color treated hair. These are just not it. I really didn't like these. I didn't like the way that my hair felt afterwards. I didn't like the way that my hair felt when the product was in my hair. You had to use a lot of shampoo to cleanse the hair, and the conditioner didn't leave my hair feeling silky soft. And that's what I look for in a conditioner, and I had a lot of tangled in my hair. My hair really didn't brush out nice. If you like these, great. Keep using what is working for you. But, you know, my hair is important and I don't want something that is going to make my hair feel not nice. You know what I mean? It's nice to find a product that you really love using. And these are just not it, so that's okay. But that is all of my empties. I really hope that you enjoyed it and that you found it helpful. And of course, I will link everything that I shared in this video below for you for your reference. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And of course, I will see you all in the next one. Take care, and I will see you guys then. Bye, guys.